Hey guys, welcome back. We're still working on doing some switching here in Transim World in the Journeys. We gotta move 897 yards forward. Now this one, this move kind of makes sense because we had to clear that switch with all these cars. Um, making sure the switches are all lined up. I don't know why, if these cars all went through the hump yard and got sorted, why we have to connect them and, and rearrange them, but I guess we do. So I gotta come down here and tie onto that that cut of cars right there. So let's start making our forward movement. Here we go. Let me just real quick. How many more steps do we have? Because I'm kind of want to be done. Oh man, I got so many more steps to do. I go. Tis. Stub is all like, that task should only take, you know, 40 minutes. And it's like, no, it takes way longer than that. You guys must be driving at like a thousand miles an hour. So my one roommate came home, grabbed something off of one of the shelves and left. And like the one thing was just barely balanced and it just, it just fell off the shelf. But it wasn't something breakable. So you can sit on the floor for a few minutes. I've been recording all day. And I'm like, I want to be done now. But I got into a longer scenario than I thought it was going to be. I should probably also watch the speed and, and go into third person view. I don't, I don't like it, but... It'd be kind of nice as if, you know, again, I, mean, I constantly say this. It'd be nice if we had multiplayer, because if I had multiplayer, I could have a player actually standing there riding on that ladder telling me you know, how much further I had to go. Even if it was like four-player co-op, two-player co-op. You know, multiplayer. And I definitely would love the, the 20 plus people on a, a server that you see in Run 8 kind of multiplayer with you know, 30, 40 trains running, but the Transform world isn't built to handle that. Independent brake to slow everything down. We get about five, six miles an hour. Our one full car length. Half a car. Yeah, that'll do. Go ahead and do full application of all the brakes. And they want me to uncouple from cars way down there. One vehicles. I do like that like our feet don't clip through the tracks. We actually like move up and down like and you you can tell when I'm stepping on the rail or when I'm stepping over, because the camera bounces up and down a little bit. I'll uncouple from here. Door locked. You used to be able to open these doors, and now they don't let you open them. That bugs me. I wonder if you can. I wonder if you can still open the doors on the auto racks. I haven't played around with that much. I love the level of detail. Like you can see all the bolts. Although these aren't bolts. These aren't bolts. They're spikes. And I think actually, I think for for switches it might be bolts. I could be wrong. And in fact, I think for switches it is. But I do like all those big ass bolts and all that. Like they put a lot of detail into this. And it does look really good. And it shows that they put a lot of detail. They just didn't put much effort into anything else. Uh. Now I have to back up. Let's let's look at how many cars I have left. I have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cars and two locomotives. And I have to back up all the way to right here. And I'm probably gonna have to go down like this track right here.
And I'm like really quick, like, I'm gonna make sure that this one's set up right. I do like that you can you can walk across these paths and everything. Pretty sure I don't have that set up right still, but whatever, I don't care. At least I turned the headlight on and it didn't turn on. Whatever. I didn't go far enough. I hate that. It's like I'm touching the circle, but because I'm not fully on the dot, it's like you didn't go far enough. So I have to go. Look how much further I had to go than what I realistically have to do. Like it's. And here's where I had to stop, right? This is the track we just went down. And this is the switch that I need to throw. I should have stopped at this pole. I should have been able to stop right here. And then we go way, way further than I needed to go. And that's just a, a recurring problem with pre-scripted scenarios like that. Is you're going to have a lot more moves than you need. I think what we'll do is we'll tie into these cars and then it'll be the end of this episode. And like I said, I don't want to keep these episodes about, uh, these episodes short. 15 minute little episodes, just kind of playing around, having some fun, talking some operations, questioning why things are the way they are. Um, if, if there's something you guys want to see differently, let me know in the comments. Um, unfortunately, I'm recording all of these at once, so if you say something in episode 2 and I haven't, haven't addressed it, it's because I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> Like, I've already recorded this section that you're watching you know, probably a couple weeks afterwards. Uh, or a couple days, whatever. And I might, if I get enough of these made in, in one shot, I might do like two episodes a week. Like, every, you put an episode out on Tuesdays and Thursdays. But, anyways, uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you like the content, if you don't, I don't care. It's no big deal for to me. Uh, if you want to, you know, check the link in the description below. I, I do stream Run 8 on Fridays. Wednesdays I stream iRacing. I do all those recordings on Thursday or Tuesdays. Um, going down the right track. We're going down. The, we're going down the wrong track. No, we're going down the right track. Yeah, we're going down the right track. I, I looked at the wheels. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, we're going. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, what else, what else? Oh, yeah, um, I don't know what else. <laughs> link, like, link in the description to my, my Twitch channel. 
Can I cook the camera into the cars? I can't. Alright, let's get it set up for stopping. I always stop way too early, but it's it's always better when you're doing operations to stop a little early than to stop too late. Because it's easy for me to stop early and then start again and do just a little shove forward to get in the exact spot that I need to be at. Then it is for me to, you know, re-rail a train that I've just derailed or restart an entire scenario because I screwed something up. Now we've got our three-point set, which means reverser neutral, throttle idle, dynamic brake off, full application, and full service of our, end of our train brake. Squeeze, squeeze between two hours. This is one thing that I really like about uh, TSW that I don't like about train uh, about Run 8. I'll admit that. You can't walk through the train cars, and that just gives it a little more realism. It's like, oh no. If I were a multiplayer and I was standing like right here, you know, I'd get drugged by this train or something. And that's part of the reason why they put these, these cut levers right here. Is so that way a crew member can be standing right here and cut this, and if these cars move, you know, if they move that way or move that way, you don't get crushed between them. You're, you're on the side of them. And really, I should be doing my work on the other side. You really should never be in this area between two trains. Because you know, one might move and you know, something might catch you. you know, unless it's absolutely necessary, you really shouldn't be in that spot. But that's going to be, that's going to wrap up this episode. In the next episode, we should be finishing up the last few tasks. I've only got, what, one, two, three more, four more tasks to do. So we'll get those last four tasks done in the next episode. Catch you guys then.